Hi everyone, I am Rizwan. Welcome to the third video of the video series. In this video, I will talk about the ADC or analog to digital converter of the chip and also how to measure the VCC of the chip. Let's get started. I am using a trim port for this example. You can connect a temperature sensor or LDR or any other analog device. Connect the middle pin to A0 one of the corner pins to 3.3 volt and then connect another pin to ground I am using some white tack between the pins to prevent shorting connect the power supply I am using some more white tack to hold down the potentiometer. Let's look at the code. The code is super simple. There is nothing complicated about the code. The analog value is stored in ADC underscore value variable and printed on the serial port every one second. Let's upload the code. We'll use serial port for data output. You can see the value is changing. You can see the value is changing as I'm turning the port. It is a 10 ton port. That's why it is taking a bit time to raise the value. You can see the value is changing. All good. You can also measure the power supply if you want. This could be helpful if you want to add a notification when the battery is low. For this, you just need to add two lines ADC underscore mode, ADC underscore VCC. This should be out of the setup and loop function, otherwise, it will not work. We are commenting out this line and adding this line ADC value is equals to ESP.getVCC. Now upload the code. The value is 2.752 volt. If I measure the VCC, then it is uh, 3.275 volt. So what's the problem? Let's look at the section 4.9 of the data sheet. It says ADC pin must be floating. If you look closely at the node MCU diagram, you can see ADC pin is connected to a voltage divider. That's why the value is so off. There are two ways to solve the problem. First one is to remove the resistors near the corner. The second solution is to connect a jumper wire between 3.3 volt and the analog pin. After connecting the jumper, you can see the value is quite close it is 3.326 volt if i do a if i do a bit of math i can see it is 1.5% off i think it is acceptable if you are using BRESP12 module, then remember the ADC can only accept 1 volt. Uh, you need to add a voltage divider to measure higher values. Uh, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Bye.